Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2018 Ford Starcraft All-Star. This is a 12 passenger and two wheelchair shuttle bus, which means it's a non-CDL in every state except for the state of California. Uh, only 110,000 miles on it, let's check it out. Alright, first things first, powered by the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine. Of course a company with an automatic transmission. Alright, tires on this are all getting pretty low, going to be honest, We're all around 3.30 seconds. So uh, we, will, we will be getting some of these replaced to pass DOT, but as of right now, that's where they're at, but those will be swapped out. Alright, coming on inside, we have an electric operated bifold passenger entry door, gray flooring, white step nosing, and some grab rails coming on in. Quite a few grab rails coming on in. Look at that. Bam. All right, going over the driver area, driver's seat upholstery, cloth cover, no rips, cuts, tears, no foam sticking out, USSC driver's seat, nice brand there, 110,399 miles. Over here to the left, we have your uh, power mirrors, and they're also heated, that's for both top and bottom on both sides. That right there, that's a uh, Roscoe Vision System, it's got the backup sensors in the uh, in the bumper, I haven't confirmed if that works, but it is equipped. Over here to the right, we got your AM FM Jensen CD stereo, aux input right there. Got your uh, climate controls for your driver, just like you'd see in your car. This right here is the rear heat integrated into the OEM switch. A couple of 12 volt ports, cup holders, and then uh, up top here we have your uh, StarCraft control panel, uh, your door switch here, dome lights, heated step tread for those frosty mornings, that's what that is. Uh, the other flashers up top that don't turn on with the hazards. And then we have your rear AC, you have your thermostat and your blower speed right there. Up top here, have a, a driver storage compartment, put whatever they'd like in there. And then uh, in here we have your control panel and this has a uh, Troubleshooting LEDs, fuses, relays, very easy for your mechanics to work on. <clears throat> All right, so in the back here, as I said, 12 passenger and two wheelchair. So we have your standard Freeman featherweight mid-back seats, gray vinyl covers, vinyl covers, very easy to clean. A uh, few things on these seats, retractable seat belts, which is always a nice option. Seat belts aren't all flopping in the aisle way there. Got aisle side armrests, aisle side grab handles. And uh, the only thing different is that this seat right here does fold up. So it does have a fold away right there. It's not for another wheelchair position, but you can fold that up to make it easier um, to access the, the, the wheelchair position there or store some stuff here or whatever you'd like. Uh, two wheelchair positions in the back. Ceiling mounted AC evaporator by Trans Air. Rear emergency exit door. And then uh, the uh, sides are covered with a gray padded vinyl. Uh, definitely keeps uh, road noise down, provides some insulation, also easy to clean. Uh, got some dome lights on the transition panels there, ceiling mounted grab rail. Seat covers look fantastic. No big holes or foam sticking out. I do want to point out, it does have one ICS position, so that's this seat right here. You'll see it looks a little bit different. So it's a higher seat and it's also got the integrated child safety seat. You have a small kid, you can strap Junior in right there and you'll be good to go. All right, that'll do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. Body on this looks it looks pretty good. Passenger side skirt, nice and straight, not all dented in, anything like that. I'm not gonna show you the tires because those will more than likely be replaced. They're all getting low, but I will show you the frame here and look at that. Not a rusty bus by any means. You'll always have some surface rust in that exhaust system there, but look at that frame. Beautiful. All right, this does have a Braun Century Series wheelchair lift, very easy to use. If you want to go up, you just hold up. Sometimes you got to kick this bad boy in there. And then if you want to fold, you just hold the fold button and it'll flop right in there. Very easy to use. All right, and this is a 800 pound capacity lift, which is pretty much the standard. <clears throat> all 
All right, coming around the back, these corners tend to be where you'll see the most damage on these buses. Not a whole lot to talk about on this rear passenger side corner. I do want to show that this does have an upgraded rear bumper. This is a rear impact absorbing bumper. Uh, basically minimizes the damage if you're rear-ended. Uh, got your rear driver's side corner looking good as well. All LEDs on the rear. Uh, driver's side skirt looks good. You'll see we got a few little spots of touch-up paint here. Don't know if you can see that in the video. Very, very minor. But that's pretty much all I can point out as far as body infirmities. Uh, tour style windows all tinted with the upper sliders. And this does have a heavy-duty aluminum driver's side running board. This just allows for an extra step coming on into the bus. And that'll pretty much do it. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thanks for watching.